the cheetah. They're the fastest land animal on Earth. And highly effective predators. Fifty percent of their hunts result in success. To learn this skill, it helps if you play with an object. Marlies van Furen knows this better than most. She's been looking after orphan cheetahs for more than 30 years and dedicates her life to preparing them for the wild. For us, it's important to have them happy. If it's a happy cat, it's a healthy cat. With entertainment and playfulness, you can get that little spark going. And we need a spark for them to survive in the wild. So we constantly have to think of new, innovative toys and ideas to keep them going and motivated. Today, Marlies is working with these three-year-old cats, triggering their playful instinct in an unconventional way. They like us and they like children. When you get a new toy, they're very excited and everybody's curious what it is. These games allow the youngsters to learn about the unpredictable ways that objects move. Much like their prey. Cheetahs have a very strong hunting instinct. They have it from a very young age. It's genetically programmed in them. And you can see the minute they start playing and they can move actually, it's always in a hunting mode. Scientists call these sort of dynamic games object play. When we talk about object play, often we're dealing with predatory animals. Let's think about the complexity of the world of a carnivore. A carnivore's life depends on successfully chasing something that doesn't want to be chased. So a carnivore needs to think ahead, to deal with unpredictability, to be fast, to be very clever. These unusual games help her cheetahs to hone their hunting skills. It's kind of similar that they would do with a baby spring ball. They try and trip it the whole time. So with balls, it's the same thing, and you can kick it back and forth, and they can get the interest going like that. That is vital for them to learn how to do it and eventually put that into practice when they go out in the wild. Cheetahs need to develop more than just their physical agility to be successful on the hunt. These astonishing cats can hit speeds of 70 miles per hour. And they have to make split-second decisions about which target to choose. And when to give up the chase. So, Marlies has devised some extreme object play to sharpen their decision-making skills. An industrial-sized game of cat and mouse. The lure works on a pulley system and we have up to six to eight pulleys, so you can make it into squares, triangles, uh, zigzag. It doesn't take long for the cheetah's playful instincts to kick in. <laughs> but instead of going for the lure every time it passes, the cheetah has to instantly calculate the likelihood of catching it. Ooh. 
Not all targets are worth their energy. This self-assessment play is crucial for predators. The self-assessment theory is, quite simply, testing one's own boundaries. A hunter needs to know not only its potential, but also, crucially, its limits. How do you self-assess what these are? Play is a fantastic mechanism for that. In the wild, young cheetahs would practice these skills on playful siblings or injured prey. So this unpredictable object play is critical if Marlies' orphan cheetahs are to hone their skills. When they go out in the wild and they you now we release, they need to use all the skills that they've learned in playing. They need to be able to use that knowledge on a proper hunt. For predators, playing with objects helps refine hunting skills. But the potential power of play goes beyond chasing and hunting. For the planet's most intelligent animals, object play is a way to supercharge their brains. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.